Hello, everybody. Welcome to another Howler for an Hour. One that we're starting on the Steam page this time, because... This one's weird. This is Terra Incognita. It had really odd screenshots of a very odd 3D sort of... graphics quality that I... It's hard to explain. It kind of looked like it was from the early 2000s or something. But it's a recently made game. It really intrigued me. I wasn't sure if it was any good or not. I'm still not sure. But we've been a little bit confused here over in the Twitch chat here. Because uh, the reason I'm on the Steam page here is because this game is kind of confusing right at the very start of launching it. You see, when you, start, when you hit play, like I just did, you're presented with this window. This window here asks you what you want to play. After some research, it appears that each of these is actually a completely different game folder with its own EXE. Incas, Egypt, Asia, Australia, Europe, and Utopia window. The first five are Game Guru 3D Project uh, EXEs, which basically mean they're 3D games. The last one's an RPG Maker game. I am so absolutely perplexed, but I guess Terry Incognita is actually a collection of six games? Uh, we'll try looking at each one. A little bit. I'm not sure exactly how to structure this video, but I'm already very perplexed and confused. So we'll go with this one at a time. Sorry, of Incas. Let me just remove the feed here, and we'll get it. We'll go ahead and get started in this very perplexing game. I guess before I fully start, though, if you like this video, this probably bizarre video, do give it a like. And if you haven't subscribed yet. Please do. You'll further support bizarre things like this game. Uh, also, come by the Twitch channel, and you can see the absolute confusion I had with this game and other things live, uh, which is I interesting, I think. Uh, we also got a Discord community where we can also discuss what the fuck is going on with this game. So, anyways. <laughs> so, uh, let's go ahead and hop into this. This is not English options, like Beerus is saying. This is not English options, or it's not like a language options, because, for instance... I don't believe anybody speaks Incan these days. So, you know, let's go ahead and select Incas, though. Let's play Incas. Um, <laughs> bonus of the game, the package includes the Utopia RPG game as a bonus gift in French. Why is it in French? <laughs> All right, sure. So, for the same page, this package contains five levels corresponding to five cons of Terra Incognita. Each of the levels can be five as a little game in its own right. Now, I did actually read that on the Steam page. However, when they said that each of them can be found with a little game on its own right, I thought they were just being theoretical. Not literal. <laughs> Anyways, this is apparently Terra Incognita Incans. And uh, if we go to About, that teaches us quite a lot. Somebody pull out the invisible ink markers. Um, all right, let's just start up. Start up Incas and see what happens, I suppose. Hopefully the volume's all right. I think it's about right. I mean, maybe this is a really good package of like lots of different games. I don't know. Let's go. Let's play Incas and see what happens. I I have no idea what we're getting ourselves into here. <laughs> oh God, it's a Game Guru game. Now I don't know much about Game Guru, except for that it exists. Please tell me more. Enlighten me. You cannot make a good Game Guru game. That's a good sign. Yes, it appears that all these, except for the last one, are Game Guru games. Uh, which... I don't know what that means. I don't know what a Game Guru is. It's a, I think it's just a 3D game engine that I've never seen anything be made in before, which probably indicates it's not the best engine. Uh, are we loading? I assume we're loading. All right, here we are. We seem to have a Half-Life. Oh, well, ooh, well, hello. Oh, um, the three times the legend of the Incas, something approaches, something about Sorens, dinosaurs. Oh God, low PS, would you like to improve your performance? Yeah? They, oh, well, okay. You know, I was, Oh no, um, you know, game, game, thank you for the text, but, uh, I'd like to dodge enemies. <laughs> Press E to pick up the axe, that would actually be, be useful for me. 
Thanks for the in-game text I can't skip, but uh, yeah, um, oh wow, this is a good, this is a good frame right here. Well, let's just kill some random lizard people, I guess, uh, whack. Take that. You won't get me this time. I can swing this axe really fast. Oh, that guy bounced, his fr bounced over his friends. Is there anything behind me? Okay. Oh god. Alright. Oh, oh shit! Oh no, a zombie! <laughs> oh yes, they are often in league with Lizardmen. Um, fucking what? <laughs> Danger is a non-technical fun and easy to use game maker. It allows you to build your own game world using creative and enjoyable tools. Oh, that's where the text was. Okay. So if you walk by these stairs, the, there's a text box that won't go away until you walk away from the stairs. Also, I literally lost 10 health and we have this loud heartbeat sound effect letting us know we lost 10 health. Oh no, I only have 90 out of 100 health. Time to make a heartbeat noise to let everybody know. That After all, that's very low health. 90 out of 100 is... You don't have very much. I mean, it's a whole 10. That's a lot. <laughs> Wait, I'm on 2 health? How can you tell? That's my lives. That's my lives. I lost a life by dying. Oh, what? One hit and gone. All right. Oh no! The yes, the gargles, which also work with zombies and lizardmen. Yes, this is very common. <laughs> Just throwing in whatever 3D assets you had there, aren't you, developer? <laughs> I mean, at least the lizardmen kind of work with the environment. I thought they were fine, but are you guys just waiting for me? All right. Well, those are lives. I have three. Yeah, I started. Oh god. Okay. The game's just freaking the fuck out because I have lost 10 out of 100 health, I think. Whoa! <laughs> Gotta watch out, they're really dangerous when they clip over their corpses of the friends. Corpses of their friends. I can't talk. This game is breaking me. Alright. I'm just gonna kind of... Oh, oh, oh. Oh shit, another zombie. Where'd you come from? Go away. Oh, 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 come. Oh. oh, shit. They're flying at me, man. I was gonna hug this wall and fire everything. The lizards have cute. I mean, they're they're good tribal. Listen. I, I like lizardmen. I like tribe. I like. Is that a dragon? I like tribal lizardmen. I like lizardmen and loincloths. Yeah, that's pretty good. I, di I dig lizardmen and loincloths. So, I guess Game Guru default assets look like they're from a PS2 game? Is that just how this works, I guess? Because it really does look like a PS2 game. I love how fucking out of place these zombies in particular are. I could maybe accept their gargoyles, but... I think the lives are supposed to be housed in the game freaks out by having only two health expects ahead of even though you have more health. But I have... I don't know, man. We'll just have to deal... At least it's not the Zelda... Dee -dee -dee -dee. That would make it even worse. Oh no! Oh shit! Another zombie from behind. Those those damn zombies are quite the are quite the sneak attackers. Hello, other guy, go go thing. Uh, fucking what? Fucking go away! Ow! Yeah, that proves I wasn't at three health or whatever, because now I'm at seventy-eight out of five hundred. So no, the game just freaks out if you have anything less than full health. I guess my screen is going red. A game I still have. Over 75% of my health. <laughs> it came. You're. You're. By the time I get to like 50 health, the screen's gonna be completely red. Just you watch. God, that's a loud harpy noise. <laughs> you guys will have to deal with it. This is, this is the full experience of Terra Incognita. You guys are gonna share it with me. I don't like this guy. He's hard to hit. Like seriously, I can't I can't fucking figure out how to hit him. Oh god, that guy oh well, shit, that guy's like running for me. The Okay. <laughs> I think I gotta like I think I legitimately like gotta clip in their hitbox to hit them. The flying guys. Oh god, the screen's even worse now. So there's a giant over there. Is that a giant ox guy? I think it is. Oh shit, he Oh no, it's a 
Torrent or whatever from World of Warcraft. <laughs> why is this- why do the zombies saunter so fast? That's another- Oh no, they're gonna clip on each other, aren't they? Okay. Um, oh, oh, oh. Whoa, it's okay. Thankfully, he has a much smaller attack box- hitbox than you think. I have- I have the combo now. Attack thighs! Go for the fucking thighs! There we go. Oh my god. Are you okay? Alright. <laughs> Large Chief of Skull? Maybe see it. Alright, I'm just gonna keep doing this thing I'm doing, because it's- Yeah, there's dragons up! That dragon looks- That dragon just glitched out for a second. Are you okay up there, dragon? I should go for the dragons. Hurt box, that's what I'm looking for, yeah. Nope, oh, got another one. Up oh, two. Oh shit! <laughs> Hello. I'm sorry if I might accidentally aggro somebody over there. Wow, they're not not really the smartest, are they? Um Their secret the synchronicity is very impressive though. Okay, I think I, I think I figured out their hitbox or her box range. Yeah, it's not too not too bad. Okay, it should be pretty aggressive. It's not too hard. All right. They seem to attack before they can actually hit me. Actually, am I right about that? Oh shit, that's a little close there, buddy. Um, these guys are ironically enough more dangerous when they get stuck because then they become more unpredictable. I see you there. Uh oh. Uh, did, did I make that noise or did the oxen guy? Because they, they didn't make any noises before now, but... Alright. <laughs> kind of sounded like a... Oh, shit. I think headshots actually do more damage, so I guess the game's at least coded for that. Alright, I made it to the giant human skull area, as one has in, the, in such a place. Oh shit! Not you again. Oh, there's two different models of you guys, huh? I'm still not sure how to effectively hit those guys. Oh god, they're stacking. Makes them even more dangerous. I'm trying to jump to have a slightly better chance of hitting them, but I'm not sure if it's working. Oh, it is kind of. There we go. I did I win? Continue. I won. <laughs> I got to the one temple that's important, I guess. Good work, me. I correctly path found my way to the end really fast. Well, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just hold on a minute. I have another. I want to explore and also do something really reckless because it's it'll probably break the game. But I guess I just randomly want a speed run. You want to know what a speed run looks like? Time for charm plays speed run. Charm, charm. Speed run, ga speed runs games, yay! All right, here we go. Yeah, I don't think there was coding either. I think this does <laughs> drop down pre-existing assets. Well, it is very inspiring to see that one can drop down pre-existing assets in a game guru engine and then sell it. <laughs> Here's what a speedrun looks like. You don't grab the axe, that wastes that waste frames. Also, for some reason, low FPS message isn't happening, so we actually can see the lovely bloom this time. You want to move a little to the left and then to the right. That goes around them. There you go, speedrun. Look at that. Go submit me to the speed demos archive, thank you. 
No hit that. No hit either. Look at me. I'm very pro. Now, first off, can, now here's a here's a question. Can I go? I need to grab the axe and see if I can attack a dragon. I mean, the Speed Demos Archive should have speedruns for everything, right? That counts. It's a, it's officially a video game filled for money, so it counts, right? <laughs> World record. There we go. You might be able to save frames by triggering the law of PS message to increase your frame rate, but I'm not sure if that would actually save frames or not, because you'd have to sit still for a minute. It counts if you submit it. Fuck, man, we should submit it. <laughs> I got the axe. My goodness, that motion blur. Oh, I'm sorry. We didn't fight the uh, tree enemies, or is that just the tree? Oh, it's just a really weirdly placed tree. Never mind. I thought it was like an ant. Hello. Can I climb this? Okay. Time for massive jumping for climbing abilities. There we go. So why doesn't it give me the low FPS message now? Oh, what's this? Oh, fire staff. Don't mind if I do. Turns out there's fall damage. <laughs> Alright, let's try that again. I got a fire staff. There's other weapons, apparently. Hey, Gabe, can I, can I, like... Oh, I can select graphic settings. I'm kind of surprised, actually. Lowest, please. Fucking lowest. Is this lowest? Oh, this is... Ow. I think I'm really glad that last time it told me about the FPS issue. Wait, I think I know how to trigger the FPS issue. I think we can go over here and it'll, it'll do it. Why is it not giving me the option this time? This doesn't seem to change anything. It could save my game. That's great. Wait, how 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 clever are these enemies? Oh, that's great. That's going to be great on the frames. Um <laughs> Is PC a potato or is game just right? Is, my PC is very much not a potato. <laughs> my PC is most certainly not a potato. This is just because Game Guru is an amazing engine. How to do this. By the way, I love the, the amount of recoil. <laughs> I have so much recoil with this. I've never seen such heavy recoil on a staff in a video game. Look how much my aim goes up every single time. Oh, junk data? Yeah, I totally agree with you. Alright, let's uh, let's kill everything in this area. Also, I did not switch my weapon. The game just decided it should, uh, we should switch for some reason. So, thanks for that game. Oh, that. <laughs> Doing okay up there? Alright. <laughs> I mean, look how many enemies are just, enemies are just flying. Despite the impressive blast race, I'm pretty sure you can only hit one enemy at a time. Granted, it does one shot. Oh no, he's coming right at me! <laughs> oh, oh, I should see that one. There we go. <laughs> it's just sliding! Alright. Oh, did this home? No, it just seemed like it. Alright. Uh, what I'm trying to do, by the way, if you're wondering, is just kind of clear a path so I can, like, go to a dragon. Now I can go to the dragon. I'm legitimately surprised there was an item on top of this, though. I didn't, I didn't, I honestly didn't think that would happen. What? What? Wait a minute. What? <laughs> like, I have legitimate curiosity. What hurt me? Dragon? Maybe?
I love how the fireball swirls so it sometimes just misses. <laughs> Alright, I think the dragon did it. Okay, dragon. Damn it. The end of the stairs? Sharp ledges? Hi. Well, you don't seem to be attacking me. Or solid, for that matter. I guess the dragon is just chill. I like how I like how there's one on each tower, right? Well, most of them. It's like this one here, this one here, this one planking off the edge of it somehow. Oh, oh. oh. Are you doing that? Who's doing that? Is it you? Oh, I can't hit him. It seems to be exploding on him. I'm, I'm not actually sure. Where's this damage coming from? I'll, I'll crouch. That'll make it easier. I am just leg legitimately curious where the fuck I'm getting damage from. <laughs> Crouching down the stairs because I know fall damage is kind of a thing. Oh, okay. This game is glorious. Alright, let's see. Can I go over here? Okay, I don't think I'm supposed to, but I sure can by just climbing this, I bet. Just give me a second. I can climb a mountain with a horse in Skyrim, I can climb this. <laughs> Damage on up in the towers almost makes sense, except for the fact that I literally had to climb up there to get a staff anyways. Which just kind of perplexes me. Hold on, let me, let me jump. Okay, come on. I, technically climbable, but also fuck that. <laughs> I, want, I wanted to get over the wall there. Oh. Egg. Possibly gold, I'm not sure. Oh no, he's strafing. <laughs> Alright. So wait, what happens if we go to the left? Good. Sit out some fireballs. Sure, I'll kill something with these. So that one exit I took, is that just like the proper exit and that's it? God, I wish I could kill the motion blur again. That low FPS warning at the beginning was such a blessing. Too bad we can't trigger it again for some reason. I might as well turn it to highest, I guess. <laughs> Fuck it, why not? It literally changes nothing, so hey, it's broken. You know what, I'm just gonna run over here. Okay, you can't enter over here. Don't worry about that. Wait, did I? Okay, I didn't one-shot the Minotaur, I was wondering. <laughs> My hope is that if I kill the enemies, the game will run slightly better. It's a good time. I guess we should check out the other games. This is such a value pack of six games, after all. Oh, wow. Crumple. So yeah, I think the dragons are just... watching, I guess? I don't know. This is, uh, okay. I, well... I'm honestly shocked I wasn't getting attacked by enemies during the fade out there. Alright, let's go check out another one. 
Oh boy. Let's play Egypt. That's the next one down the list. Let's just try to let's try to check out each one of these. I'm just like impressed by how bad this is. They didn't even. There's a loading screen where it says "Enter your own logo here." Clearly, the developers. Clearly, it's a little template the game guru made so the developers insert their own logo into the game, but they didn't do that, so it just says "Enter your own logo here" because the developers didn't actually insert a fucking logo. <laughs> oh, the level of care and quality. All right, so now we're going to Egypt, I guess. Aztec, fight lizardmen, zombies, and gargoyles, and then just walk to a particular temple, and that's good, and you win. Also, there's French that tells you the story, but I can't read it <laughs> because it's French. <laughs> My French is not is a bit rusty these days. I I took some classes, but I can, can't, I can pick out some words, but not everything. The company is interior logo here. That would be a very meta name. So Egypt. Large belly made of large stones from many years ago. Very important one. So in Egypt, are we going to be randomly assailed by enemies while randomly walking to a destination that doesn't make any sense when the game and then the game ends? Or will this one have more nuance? I'm just crossing my fingers we get the low FPS warning because that's the only thing that actually seems to make the game look good. Or look look run good, I rather. Nothing will make this game look good, but... Pfft. Not just levels, more games! It's a value pack, after all. Hi, hey. Griffin. How you doing? Oh. <sighs> all right. Hello. How are you guys do? Okay, well, yes, prove my performance. Yeah, much better. All right, hello, how you doing? Okay, only some of you are angry. That's uh, good. They really don't like that I lived. I live. Uh, maybe I'm a squatter. I I squat in that hut, and all of Egypt despises me because they don't like homeless people. Aw, oh, thank you, Griffin. I appreciate that. So, uh, the previous level had a... Or is that them roaring? Oh, I found a knife. That'll that'll do. There. there. Alright, that's a good... Roar! Oh! I like how they sound like fucking demons. Oh, they're just guys. Alright, let's have a go, then. Right, who wants to fight? You guys? Alright, come here. The level of emotion on their faces, guys. Look at look at how angry they are. Oh great, I got I took I took a five I took five of a hundred damage to naturally get the heartbeat again. Right, these guys move a little more unpredictably, I have to say. <laughs> their axes just float next to them as they fall. Uh oh. Oh no, it's uh Anubis. Uh oh. I got stabbed from the right. Wait a minute. I got stabbed by the guys up in that hut up there, <laughs> through the wall, and at a high elevation. Those guys stabbed me. Literally. Wow. <laughs> well, that means I can stab them too. Alright, come on guys. Yeah, let's go. Knife fight through the wall! Come on, dig it! Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, they're better at it than I am. God damn it! I gotta run it. There we go. Um. Well, I mean. <laughs> okay. Also, why did we have techno music? I just like thought about that. Why exactly do we have techno music? I... in Egypt? What? Why? Oh. I love it, their axes just like stick to the- Oh, hello. Got him. Got him. Oh, shit. Got him. Didn't kill him, but got him. 
Sometimes they die like in one shot. Sometimes it takes like four hits. I'm actually die here. Actually, it's not multiple strikes per swing. It's just the sounds cutting out because it's poorly designed. Now the, the way they move actually is really unpredictable. I gotta say, their fairly basic AI is decent at flanking me. <laughs> they fall down. I like how sometimes they just forget they're, they were trying to fight me. So what exactly... Guys, can we... Let's try to make a story to each of these levels, right? That's what we need to do. We need to, we need to determine our own story. So, the Aztec level. Uh, an archaeologist found an ancient Aztec civilization of where a strange culture, a strange her but harmonious culture of lizardmen, zombies, and gargoyles lived in peace until you showed up, and then they had, he had to fight his way through because they were very angry. Here, we were a homeless person, and then the the entire Egyptian forces figured out we were living in Egypt as a homeless person squatting in a hut that wasn't used, and this this of course leads to corporal punishment, which we are fighting against. That, that, that's the story I have for this one. Oh god, we weren't there, then you were. Okay. But also there's techno music because it, it's a little known fact that the, the Egyptians actually invented techno music. They were a very advanced civilization after all. Um. <laughs> that guy up there, raw, I'm gonna get you, you know. Threatening, threatening axe motions. Oh god. I just fucking ran over. How did that guy like sonic speed over me? Jeez. I feel like I heard some outside the level. Oh, I absolutely heard something outside the level. What the fuck? I'll get the roof people later. They seem a bit busy. Probably attracted somebody's attention. Yep. I know how aggro works in video games. They have quite the dramatic. Ow, I got hit in animation. Also, some of them don't aggro, so I'm like, like, is this guy gonna attack me? Is this guy gonna sit there? I don't know. It's kind of nerve wracking, I'll be honest. Oh, we're at the markets. Hello. I'm probably doing just spins to see what the fuck's flanking me, if anything. Pick up the bow. Wait, bow? Bow? Sure, why not? <laughs> Ow, a bow! <laughs> oh my god. Doink! Stealth takedown! Uh oh. Ah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I love the stealth takedowns, that's great. Hi, Anubis. Stealth take down, Anubis. It's not stealthy because you saw me, but it's still stealth take because I said so. Did that guy just taunt me? I'm a jerk. Oh, bad arrows. Good while lasted, I guess. Uh oh. There's way more enemies over there. Uh oh. Oh, there's two. two big oh, shit, that one's in a wall. Um. Oh, guys, hello, everyone. Listen, maybe we can work out these differences um, over time. That's a lot of Anubises, my friends. I think it's literally Anubis, not just some guy in a mask. It's like it's like their neck. If you look at their neck, it sees them. Oh god, they're they're stronger. Oh no, I'm intimidated. Get out of here. Okay, I might die, but it's okay. If I do, I'll speed run. Let's see. Where was that one guy I saw? 
make sure those guys didn't notice me. Oh, shit. One did. One did. Okay. Let's see if there was a, there was a guy here. Let's see if we can find more weapons, because it's really hard to tell where weapons are, but... Actually, uh, the guy's back at the roofs. There might be a weapon up there. There's a knife up there, so let's, look, let's go up here. Hello. Oh, relax. Oh, shit! <laughs> oh, God, they're flying! You cannot trust flying Anubises. Anubai? I'm scared. They attack very fucking quickly, by the way. <laughs> Like, too quickly, honestly. Oh, a bitch stopped him, at least. Oh, God. Oh, God, a two health, everyone. It's okay, I got this. Oh. Ooh, that's close. It's fine, I just need to find a bow or something. It's, it's all good. Oh, God. Oh, no! He he, he Goomba stopped me. God damn it. I, it's, but it's okay, I got three lives. So, you know, that's why I was actually all right with this. Because we got three lives, because it's apparently like a Mario game. What's up here? Yeah, you know what? Maybe it was pretty dumb of me to think I could actually climb a ladder in this game. <laughs> Good point, Gabe. Good point. Oh, there's also a health potion, I, I think. I think that's a health potion. We'll come back to that later. You know, good old Egyptian health potions. Wait, I'm sorry, you have more of a hit rage than I do? Well, this is just unfair. Well, I guess I can use the hit. I, I guess I can use the health potion, though. Oh, it's a two as trove and crystal de roche. Yeah, it is a green crystal, but I don't know what that matters. Uh, that's what the fridge says, I guess, but more or less. I'm not entirely sure why it matters. Should I attack it? Oh shit! Like I did not appreciate me attacking. Where the hell did you come from? All right. Well, anyways. Wait, health, health potion. Not actually health potion, even though it looks like one. Okay. Bye, beers. All right, moving on. So uh, let's go over here, I guess. Uh, wait, actually, wait. I was looking for items. Hello. Is that an Egyptian mummy over there? Well, that guy's really eager to fight me. Hi. <clears throat> Pretty easy. <laughs> Seems if I hit them, they slightly sunlock. So that's good, I guess. Stop taunting, it's rude. Oh no, it's Metal Anubis. Like Metal Mario, but worse. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh no, it's Golden Anubis. Look at that. Why am I- hello? Are you an enemy or just a lady? Oh. Oh, she has an anger. Stop her. She must be evil. I was like, is this an NPC? <laughs> oh, just- that's just- oh, I'm sorry, that one's just a statue. It's fine. Hello? Anybody want to fight? Okay. God, there's a lot of enemies here. I kind of wish I my bow had more than, like, 20 arrows. Oh my god, this guy's just fucking cutting me up. <laughs> also, I can tell that they have way longer hitboxes than I do. Why are you, Why did that guy not die? Those guys were beefy as shit and I don't even know why. Alright, um... Beerus did a dog and noise redeem, did he? But if I click off the game, I think it'll break. What was it? Tell me- just- can just post it again? Post whatever it was again for me. 
These stalls are floating. These fucking stalls are floating. They're they're not even on the ground. Okay, but it's, I just realized that. <laughs> War Mark of the Roaring Egyptians. Okay. Sure, why not? Stealth attack! <laughs> Take that. Yeah, when they get aggressive, they can't be stopped. <laughs> yes, nice. Thank you. Oh, shit. I... Now, let me get off the pedestal that's just breaking them and making them harder to fight. Red Eye Anubis are more dangerous, I guess. I love the glitch where they clip on their the corpses of their friends and then they get more hard, more difficult to fight. Also, I like how they clip against the walls and just go nuts. Hi, mummy. How you doing? I want my mummy. This game is so bad. Actually, wait. Is Carcerus here? <laughs> Holy crap, dude! <laughs> what the fuck? Sometimes they just go nuts like that. What the hell? Fucking slasher on me. Oh, there's a the Sarlacc pit. Why is this here? Can I make the enemies fall down it and will they actually stay stuck? Shut up. Oh no, Golden Zubis, I thought I defeated you. That's another one. Car is best bomb. Yes. Car is absolutely best bomb. That's a statue. I guess the game, I guess the game designer was like, ooh, I'll make some of them golden, and some of them will be golden statues, and you won't know, and it's a trap, and it's secret, and actually that was not a statue, it came to life finally, what the hell? Except for it just fell over, so. Die, thank you. That's a game mechanic there, I guess, I don't know. <laughs> nice taunt. Yes, keep taunting. It makes it easier. That is a floating building. That is a floating gate for some reason. No, you don't. I see you're in angry mode, and I don't want to deal with that. Sneaky dinky. At least when they roar, I know I'm getting attacked by somebody. Oddly enough, the undead are easiest to kill. Terribly. I heard that. It's behind me. They like have modes where if they get in that mode, I just need to be very careful. Because they'll just go fucking nuts on me. Hi. <laughs> I don't know if you know, man. What's that? Oh, there's some grass clipping through the ground. I understandable. You know, in the screenshots, this game looked like it was like a Skyrim-esque. It looked like Elder Scrolls-esque. Like, it looked like it was gonna be... Oh. Oh, shit. It looked like it was gonna be like, explore, talk to NPCs, fight, you know, explore dungeons, find dungeons and stuff. It looked like a very dynamic game, actually. But then... Then we ran into this. <laughs> Hold on, Fire Staff, you've returned. Now I don't have to die. Uh, maybe. Would have been nice to grab this earlier. All right, we we can win now. I like how they fell down. Um. So 
So, uh... Yeah, this honestly looked like it was going to be an Elder Scrolls S action RPG, but nope. So, uh... We found the wind condition of the last level. Where's the... Where do you think this one is? Maybe... Oh, inside. We did it, guys. We found the exit. Just gotta deal with the wall masters. Unlike in Zelda, where the wall masters are really scary enemies, these are the wall masters because they're stuck through the wall. Thus, they bastard the wall. There we go. We defeated the wall masters. I think they're dead. It's hard to tell sometimes. <laughs> the expression. <laughs> All right. Um, we won. Look at us. We're. We're really, we're really ace in this game, man. All the games. So you defy the fire staff at each level. And then just fucking wreck shit. Alright, so... Let's play Age... Azzy. Azzy. Which is Asia, obviously. These are all, like, poorly renamed versions of real-life continents slash locations, countries, etc. So Asia, sure. Is this gonna be like stereotypically Chinese or something, or what do we what do we got going with this one? What 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 we have to we have to play everyone. I think I'm pretty much indebted to play everyone at this point. So I'm just gonna turn my AC on because I think this game's making me have a fever. <laughs> so just gonna get some just gonna get some uh just get a little bit of cool air in here. <laughs> I'm sorry for destroying the lovely soundscape of the games by turning on my AC, but, you know. Sorry, I'm, I'm going to interrupt the Egyptian techno and uh, the roaring and also the hurt sounds and also the heartbeat. <laughs> Do you think it's going to be Chinese, Japanese, or something else? It's got to be one of those. Are you assuming that these games are completely original in every aspect? How could you? Oh, no. <laughs> That's a, perish the thought. <laughs> Or is this going to fuse, like, Chinese and uh, Japanese in, in sort of an improper in, in mix? Mongolian. That, that would be more interesting. AC in Canada during winter? It's more likely than you think. This build, this apartment building has heating that does not... is not. This apartment building has uh, overall heating. So the heater turns on when it wants, it turns off when it wants. I cannot control it. We cannot control the temperature of our own apartment except by using... AC it is. This is my roundabout way of saying the heater turns on way too fucking much sometimes. In fact, I am going to switch it to cooling mode, not just fan mode. There we go. Alright, we are in Asia. I... Wherever that is. Yes, low FPS. Thank you. Oh my god. That killed the water, but you know what? I don't even care. <laughs> there's there's a modern city up. Okay, wait, hold on. So there's a modern city over there, and where are we where are we going? Also, I'm fat, so I don't need water anyways. What did it ever what was what would they do for me in this game? Probably I'd fall through it and either drown or just get stuck. All right. Hi. S pick up the skelly sword. I'd love to, but the prop keeps going away. Uh, a game? Oh, it's fine. I'm fine. There it is. Uh, you have fun down there. S good old skelly swords. You know, very oriental weapon. Hello? Oh, hi there. Ah, goblins, yes. Okay. Up. <laughs> I see a Tyrannosaurus Rex over there, I think. Um. <laughs> Alright! <laughs> what the fuck is this level design? And there's another crystal. I don't know what they're for still. I guess I'll follow the path? Alright, bye. No, I'm sorry, I need to talk to the T-Rex. One second. There's a dragon over there, too, and a pirate ship, and... okay. 
I'm sure there's water here. I don't know if it'll kill me or not. I mean, we can't see the water, but... I'm sorry, I have to talk to Mr. T-Rex. One second. Hello, Mr. T-Rex. Where are you going, Mr. T-Rex? You got there eventually, buddy. <laughs> it is it is it is often un, it is often not known, but T Rexes could not, in fact, turn on a dime. In fact, they could not even turn on a fire hydrant, or a well barrow, or possibly even a whole barn. <laughs> I guess I hurt myself, but also I took no damage. All right. And yes, before you asked, I could have dodged that attack, but I was just mesmerized at how long the T-Rex was taking to actually manage to turn around and attack me. I had to see how long that would take. Oh, good. Oh, you weren't even facing me. He did a butt attack. Maybe it is a T-Rex from Barb Fighter. <laughs> His butt chopped me. <laughs> Clearly. Oh. I seem to be taking a bro bone crutch fall damage thing, but I take no damage from it. That's really weird. Well, I mean, I should I fight the T-Rex? Probably not. Am I going to fight the T-Rex? Yes. Maya's the vole, his butt chomped me. <sighs> Can I, like, attack his tail or... Nope. Sure love an enemy that can uh, just attack you from the wrong direction like that. <laughs> oh, so that answers the question of, do we have three lives or four? I wasn't sure if zero... You know, I'm always never sure, like, if you have one life, does that mean... You lose it and then you go down to zero and have one more go, or do you just stop? Apparently three. <laughs> so, uh, is it going to give me the low FPS warning again, or is it, just, is it going to not actually do it this time? Also, I think I'm done fighting one-shot McGee and the T-Rex. <laughs> Omnidirectional Vorus? Yeah, I was really sure what word you were saying there. <laughs> Direct Cruonal Vor. <laughs> Direct Cruonal. And rocks. I generally release free rocks alongside paid rocks in sets sometimes. How are you guys doing? I'm watching a loading screen. So I bet it's not going to give me the low FPS warning this time because it only displays it the first time upon startup. And we're going to actually have to run through this with it looking like shit again. Which is fine because I'm actually going to speed run this run. See what I tell you. It's not doing it. No, no low, low FPS warning this time. For some reason, it can only display that... Wow, that is terrible frame rate for you guys. Hold on a second. Alright, in that case... I guess I'll have to restart the game. For both of our sanity. I hit all F4 to kill the game, game. Ah, it's not responding. Wow, that's a... Lovely response, that. <laughs> Oh, this shit is so bad, man. Like, ah. Uh, I mean, I'm having a good time, technically, but, like, this shit right here is why I can't respect... This is this shit right here is why I feel happy when I find a respectable developer making a passionate project, whether or not it's perfectly put together or not, if it's put together with heart and love and soul. I really appreciate that, you know? But then you have stuff like this, and it's like, fuck you, you shouldn't be making games. <laughs> I mean, this is funny, 
But seriously, fuck you. You shouldn't be making games if this is your attitude towards it. Get out of here. Get the fuck out. <laughs> you know? Get the fuck out. We're, we're expelling you. Get the fuck out. Should have never gone to this fucking college. You're only here for the drinking parties. In fact, your high school diploma, give that too. You don't even... You can you don't even deserve that. Just go get a GED. <laughs> Have we lost frames? Yeah, the game killed some frames from what I can tell. <laughs> yeah, it's at 4200. I think the game forced a frame drop, which is indeed not Twitch's fault for once. It's the fact the game is shit. Cuz it, it I mean, as we could probably tell, this is not running the best. It was a sort of speed running. I think I can only make killing the same AI of enemies over and over again interesting so many times, so. But why is there a T-Rex in Asia? <laughs> oh, great, it's not actually off. Oh, there it is, there it is. Yeah. Okay, yeah, first time startup you can reduce. So I gotta win in my first time starting the game or I have to start the whole game over. Excuse me? Oh, I'm angry whenever somebody takes the deeply imaginative, interesting, and infinitely creative medium of, of uh, game development and just kind of fucks it up. Like, there's so many cool things you can do with a video game. Why are there floating barrels? I mean, maybe they're floating in the water, per se. I don't know, the water that we kind of deleted, but... Why? Why? That orc is stuck on them. That's fine. Excuse me? What was that sound? I heard, like, a little text message sound. Hi. Nope. No, actually... Why even fight with the basic weapons? I think it's probably best just to look for a better weapon. Which I'm sure exists somewhere if I look around. I need to find it. There's always another weapon somewhere, right? So far, anyways, on these other levels. Excuse me. Excuse me. I keep hearing, like, a little sound. Is it like a checkpoint sound? I don't know. Gotta keep on the move, though, because I got enemies that are angry and will attack me. Oh, a T-Rex. Just jump over it. It's fine. <laughs> There's a lot of blood on the screen for 7 damage and full damage. <laughs> well, we're going over the pirate ship. Which probably would look better if there was water, but that's fine. And it, it, it kind of enhances the visual appearance that I have the water on. Whoosh. I'm looking for new weapons, but I'm not seeing... I keep hearing a weird sound effect. I'm not sure what it means. Maybe there are checkpoints. This is more linear than the other. What I love is that there's actually a fall damage sound that it plays before you take fall damage. Like, if I fall just a little bit, there's a sound for it. I'm at 3 health. How the fuck did I get 3 health? That's fine. That fall damage was insane all of a sudden. <laughs> Hi guys, how you doing? Uh, don't mind me, I'm just passing through. You didn't actually mind me. Thanks, dude. Alright. Fuck. <laughs> it's all good, these guys are chill. They're peaceful. It's all good. I'll buddy hop over them just in case they're not, though. Um. We got here. Uh, hello, I'm on the pirate ship. How are you guys doing? All right, bye. <laughs> Why are they not attacking me? I won't complain. I won! <laughs> yeah, I think that's a better way of doing. <laughs> All right, well that's that one done. <laughs> Honestly, I may as well speed run. I'm too charming. They couldn't attack me. 
Next, we're gonna go to... Actually, I... I guess Europe? I think I selected Europe. Which doesn't have a clever, like, fantasy name, it's just Europe. <laughs> The fall damage glitch made me invisible. Also, we dropped more frames. 440 at this point. Sorry if it looks like crap or whatever. But I don't care. I really don't care with this game. Also, I blame the frame drops on the game, so, you know. It's all good. It's whatever. <laughs> that was 3 out of 6, yes. So next we do Europe, then we do one more, and then there's a RPG Maker game, I guess? New speed tech? I sp well, it's not really a speed tech, it's a dynamic. Makes the enemies not aggro anymore. Doesn't necessarily affect the speed run, depends. But yeah, you gotta watch your fall damage in this, so any, like, buddy hop, jump over hill strategy, you gotta be careful, careful. Or you can just kill yourself, so, you know. Europe's gonna be... Medieval, right? Oh, wait, no, I selected Australia. This is Australia or whatever the proxy. The fuck are you? <laughs> Babyhead Tourette's McGee over here is going to try to kill me, I guess. Um, and some Resident Evil. These are all just Resident Evil enemies. All right. So yeah, this is Australia. Or whatever it's called. Whatever fancy name it had. I don't know where I'm going. A round works well enough for now. Oh, pick up what? Oh, a fucking colt. Alright. Holy shit. <laughs> Wait, I'm sorry. You got me- you get- like, that was like- wait. That's like eight bullets, what the fuck? <laughs> well, at least I got a ritual dagger? Clear the mace- sword? How many weapons are there? <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Hi there, needle man, how you doing? That's- that's- that's good. What are these monsters? I bet they use every monster in the acid pack. So I think the idea here is I go over to the middle, right? Oh, excuse me. Alright, I'll just go over down here then. It's not good. Hello. This layout doesn't make it terrible clear where I'm supposed to be going. Oh, make them. I'll take that. This, this Ten bullets? Great grenade. Oh. Why is there so many weapons that also I'm going to die? Those are not related statements, but... Wait, there's a gr I saw a grenade! I saw something grenade! Alright, hold on, I gotta kill these guys. Oh, hi. <laughs> I didn't see you there! I don't think it matters if it's a body shot. <laughs> I think they die the same either way. Alright, now if you don't mind, I'd like to fight that grenade launcher that's buried in the grass like any good dame desire with ammo. That, that exists? I just like around here. Yeah, there it is. So, I like how it says I can replace, but... As far as I can tell, I could just pick up everything, so I don't need to actually replace anything. So, grenade. Oh shit, what? I was almost like, I guess it didn't work. <laughs> it did. Okay, that's a very delayed explosion. I didn't even get him. Alright, well. Alright, anyways. I see a uh, sparkle is there. I see a weird blue thing there. Should I, should I get the rear blue thing? What? Actually, it's a staff, isn't it? I, I want it. 
Another sword. Another sword. <sighs> Alright, hold on. I don't know if this water is like gonna kill me if I touch it, but who knows in this game. Ice staff. Alright. It's like it's cold. Ten bullets. Powerful one-shot ice staff. Infinite use. Balance. Dagger. How many weapons are there here? Also, they're just kind of. I just stumble on them apparently. But why does it explode? It's ice. <laughs> Anyways, let's hit the sparkles, I guess. Oh, careful. See, I broke my bones, quote unquote, but it didn't actually hurt. Yep, that was the end. Fucking. What the hell, man? Oh my god, this is. This is a good example as to why Gengaru is not a good engine, I suppose. Yeah, that was Australia. 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 Something like that. Anyways, let's go to Europe. <laughs> it's just a staff from before, but it's blue now. Yeah. Literally just fucking reskin the fire staff. This game would make good meme speed runs. It probably would. The biggest hurdle is getting the frame rate to handle itself. All right, to Europe, which is in it's undoubtedly medieval fantasy swords and armors and knights and stuff. That's un it's undoubtedly going to be that. Also, how was that last area, Australia? Ah, uh, yes, Australia. Also, it is a place that has like inlets of skull stones and Resident Evil monsters. Very Australian. Very Australian environment. That. There wasn't even a single kangaroo. Or giant bug of some sort. <laughs> or platypi. <laughs> also, the subject of free rocks. There's always a free rocks. That's actually what I made available for five years, at least. Uh, so there's, there's, if you haven't got any rocks, there's a free rocks available at any time. Uh, on my list, so... So, also, I love how uh, these levels, they're not that complex, but they take forever to load anyways. Mm -hmm. You know what's sad is I actually think I have Game Guru. I think I actually have it on Steam. Don't bloody ask me why. I think it was part of a bundle or something. So I think I actually have that. I think I actually looked at it at one point, and I think I recall it's really shit. Mm -hmm. um, which, surprise. <laughs> but, you know... In my opinion, the subscription boosting thing for the rocks is do not think boosting is for the rocks worth five. It's worth it if you like if you're interested in buying and boosting a lot of rocks, since it basically gives an automatic boost for every single rocks that you do. So if you were to boost more than five rocks, it would pay itself back, I guess. But I also agree with you that uh, I don't think. I think the subscription is worth it for some people, but I also think that individual rocks boosting is definitely more worth it for some other people. And it's a bit of a shame that they removed the individual rocks boosting for now. It will probably come back in two months. They want to trial the subscription. They want to trial the subscription thing for two months without having the individual boost there. Which, okay, sure, but I do think that their trial will prove that uh, people don't like to sub because you removed the feature. Because anytime you remove a feature and then put it behind a paywall of a sub of subscription model, that's going to antagonize people, you know? That's going to antagonize people. If you leave that option available but also offer the subscription, uh, in other words, you don't take something away to and then put it into a subscription model, uh, you will generally receive more positive reception at that point, you know? And I was trying to get them to do that. I was trying to be like, hey, guys, you should really leave the, the single bo rocks boosting option there. Just also offer the subscription model. I, I was like, you guys really should do that. But they're but they're not doing that. So their funeral, they're going to see that they're going to get negative reception. I bet you anything. But give it time and individual rocks boost should, should come back. Especially if they receive negative reception, as I'm going to predict. I, I've got a better business sense than many people, I think, ironically enough. I know how to make people happy. It's a dog thing, yo. And if you don't make people happy, you lose, you lose people. You lose people's interests and such. Alright. 
Okay, cool. Oh, good. I I don't know what happened there. I'm going to leave. I'll grab the night sword first. I have to I have grabbed the night sword. So I probably got attacked through the walls again. That's probably what happened. Hello. Oh wow, this game runs really poorly, guys. I like the flaccid flute. The flaccid flute's really good. It's like some la somebody who just does not care about playing the flute is playing the song. I think I got killed by a Viking. What? Yeah, I guess they're European. This is running the worst. Not just for you guys, also for me. It is stuttering so hard in game. Oh my god. Keep in mind, guys, I have a good computer. Is that a. Hello? Hello? Evil Ice Mage? I'm just gonna, just gonna just do this. Um, hold on a minute. <laughs> These are archer ladies running up to whack me with her bow? What the fuck? Oh god. I, I can't handle all these burly big guys. <laughs> what is this guy doing? I killed him, I guess. Alright, well. Fuck this shit, I'm out. <laughs> Where's the end? Oh, let's look let's look for the end. I don't want to play this. This one runs the worst. God. This flute though. Boo -doo 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 -doo. I found the end, it's all good. Excuse me. Gotta get away from the archers before they whack me with their bow! I am so glad I sped run that one. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Didn't drop any frames. That was all... We didn't drop a single frame with that one, actually. That was all just... You guys saw live the exact frame rate that I was experiencing. All of that... All those drops were exactly equal to what you saw. That was literally... Literally how it was running for me. So... <laughs> wow. You know what they say, just because you upgrade a computer, that does not mean you can beat out shittily made games with that computer. I have seen Markiplier play shitty games and watch his computer belt, and he's a fucking professional, obviously. Like, more than me. Anyways, let's play the last game, which... isn't... I know this song. I have heard this song before. This is, a uh, This was an RPG Maker game. Which definitely fits really well with what we saw before. How is this gonna be? Are they gonna... Is it gonna be dropping me in and suddenly I'm getting attacked by all sides by enemies? Except for now it's an RPG. <laughs> it's gonna match up to... How is this gonna work exactly? What 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 exactly... What the fuck's gonna happen here? I could crop the edges, but I honestly don't give a shit at this point. This is fine. What in the fresh fucking hell am I looking? This is loud. I'm sorry? What the hell is going on? Why does this look like a kill screen for an arcade game? Hopefully the volume is okay now. Um, alright, well, we got people. Harold Therese. Marsha Lucius. Ah, yes, of course. Also, this is in French, but I don't think that matters to me, really. I think I'll be fine. It's got some magic. It looks like Hilla magic, okay. She's got fire magic. He's got also Hilly magic. It's actually the same one, isn't it? Yep, same spell. Okay, that's all I really need to know. Thank you. And there's people. What the fuck am I... What was that? No, I'm sorry. What the fuck was that? What... 3D screen was that? Oh, no, don't no, talk to me again. I need to see that again. What the hell am I looking at? No, seriously, what? What the fuck is going on? Alright, let's talk to this. Oh, oh that's, a, that's a skyscraper. Ah, station port. We. Yes, I would love to travel somewhere. Yeah, there. What? North, I guess. I. Okay. That. Well, let's talk to the ninja assassin. 
Uh, next to his pet Vel Velociraptor, I guess. Uh, that's good. Why is there a dinosaur? <laughs> I guess these are the people we're talking to. Oh, uh, okay. Well, uh, let's beat up the SWAT team members. They're bad, probably. So I don't need to know the language to know how to play an RPG Maker game. I am well versed at RPG Maker. Special Forces, apparently. Special Forces agent. What is this song from? It sounds too good. So it's clearly stolen. I like it. It's good. Wow, our mages are fucking useless if they're not casting spells. <laughs> are they showcasing resources for the 3D engine and 2D RPG? Possibly. Also, why are the random? Who the fuck? I wait. Hold on. Wait. I'm sorry. No. What, am I? Where am I? How did I get here? I was just walking around. What? Wait. Sorry. Wait. Where am I? Why are there- Okay, I guess I'll get at the treasure. What the fuck is going on? Oh my god, stop! I know this song. This is a remake? A remix? This is a remix of an older RPG Maker default song. Uh, I think 2003? No, 2000. The hell? I love this. This is one of the, actually this particular RPG Maker soundtrack that this song is from is one of my favorite default soundtracks. That may not sound exciting, but RPG Maker default music is actually usually pretty good. But I'm confused because this is a remix of it. And I'm like, what? <laughs> Why is there a remix of I am I'm, I'm happy actually. I like I like hearing this. I mean there's a lot of treasure. Did I find a secret or something? I don't know. Also, why are there transitions walking through doorways? And we don't even change maps. Oh, it's a rest? Is this a place to rest? Yeah, it's a rest. 10G. So clearly they didn't make this remix, but I'm wondering where the fuck they got it from. Also, nice. Just... That, that chest is just sitting in the dresser wrong. Okay. Oh, there's fights here. Oh, no! It's the Mafia and their boss. Is this a boss fight? <laughs> okay. Why why am I suddenly fighting the mafia? I just I just rested at an end. Okay, well I can beat him up. I mean, this is more fun than the other games. <laughs> Did it. If that was a random encounter, I'm gonna be fucking laughing. How many Mafia bosses can there be?
Also, I still don't know how I got here, nor how I leave. Two things I have yet to figure out. There's a lot of treasure, though. Wait, that painting looks out of place. What's going on with that? Also, seriously, why do you need a transition? I am stuck. Wait, what? I, I don't understand. There was not a chest in that tub, and then there was. Also, I teleported. What is this fucking path finding? Or what is this fucking event script telling us to move? Oh, and it's, it's, you know. Can I play it? Nope. I mean, it's, there seems to be an endless number of rooms to get treasure from, so... What am I getting? Anything useful? Not from the looks of it. See if there's any new equipment. Nope. Nope. Okay, nothing I picked up was equipment. I just a lot of these, whatever they are. I don't know what they are. Possibly MP recovery? I don't know. It's not even no, it's not even uh they're making new maps when you go through a door. It's just they're setting a warp point when you open a door, and then warping you literally nowhere, because you already walked to that space. So it's just a stupid warp transition where it fades the screen for no reason. Ah uh, yes, the school right next to the casino, as one has... Yes. Where? And also next to... Yes, the school next to the lab, and also next to the casino. Very multi-purpose building they have here. What the fuck? What the hell am I doing? Optimize? Yeah, I actually would speed it up. Oh, wait, I didn't mean to run. There is no... I thought you were saying to auto-attack, and that would have been good, but there isn't one. Huh. At least the, the cattle rate's really low. Is that stairway to somewhere else? Nope, they only look like it. I'm... Oh, what? <laughs> I gotta walk behind the chairs. That's really easy, by the way. It's really simple. I can't walk behind the chairs. That's You can actually easily program that. Oh, well, okay, I guess I found a... <laughs> Is this a boss? Uh, in the office room? Well... Okay? I... sure. Ow. Yeah, that's a boss, right? For some reason. I guess he left the lab, yeah. <laughs> I would presume he's slightly difficult, considering he covers the screen at all. He's called Cyb Cybernetic Terror, as far as I can tell. I think that's the... I think that's the name he's called, in French. So he's Cybernetic Terror. <laughs> well, that's defeated. It's good. I still have no idea what the fuck's going on. I finally looped, though! Wait, no, I'm sorry, I'm in a convenience store now. What the fuck is going on?! You know what I actually think might be going on? Wrong warps might be going on, because the guys clearly don't know how to program warps well. Right? I know if I'm in a new room based on the treasure chest. I sure am getting a lot of... Really? 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 
So, they programmed the warp entity wrong and accidentally made it an NPC that can move. There's no words. <laughs> Alright, let's just step on it. Oof. Wait, did I make it back to the end again? And you know what? I kind of need that. I found a cybernetic terror. Wait a minute, didn't I loot the end already? Why is there still- I'm confused. No, I didn't mean to rest twice. Okay, well, it's fine, actually. Well, back to the convenience store. I didn't miss this chest, so thanks. What? What is- there's a girl there. Looks like I can walk behind this plant, jeez. I have no idea what the fuck, man. Hello? Oh, I can't talk to her. Oh, I missed his chest, actually. Well, I'll lift the hell out of this place while I'm here. I guess this is a yet another new room, because it has new treasure. Oh, they were trying to do a dark effect? Maybe. It's possible, but... This is another casino room. Actually, it's not even a casino. It's, it's it's got a cyber floor for some reason. Keeps looking like there's important things around these rooms, but besides the treasure chest, there's nothing that can be interactive with. I'm just impressed how many rooms there are here. What are we just possibly exploring the entire game's maps incorrectly? Is that what's going on here? I don't even know how I got here in the first place. Let's keep that in mind. Also, I don't know if I can leave. I think I've actually seen all the rooms. Nope, there's this one. There may be no escape, but at least I got all the treasure. Maybe I should start taking left rights. Will that even make a difference? Probably not. I would call this a maze, except for I don't think it's well enough programmed for that. Oh no, we're lost in the back rooms, yeah. <laughs> We literally went to the same room three times in a row! The fuck? There is no escape, I don't think. I don't think it's the escape. Oh, new room though. Maybe we'll get lucky and just find the, the room that lets us leave. I mean, we found this new room, so there's still new rooms to be sh seen. Who knows, man, who knows? This is a lovely game. Just as quality, just as quality made as the other ones from this collection. You know, I'm. You know what? You know what? I was gonna say this RPG Maker game is really out of place, but no, it actually fits in just fine with the others. Just the same level of uh, quality, definitely. So good, uh, good job in the developers of keeping the quality consistent between the entries. Where did I go? I am here. What the fuck? I. That warp was weird. It's, it's legitimately hurting me inside to watch really basic uh, RPG Maker scripting be performed incorrectly. It, it legitimately hurts. For instance, when I open this door, it teleports me to the wrong place. Watch. See? Now I'm here. Why? Because. That treasure chest, you could never get it. Why? Because the door leading to it doesn't lead to the right place. Good. 
Um, the ice on the cake should be, that should be a, uh, oh, new room. I really hope that's a key item, because that would make it even better. In the, in the chest, I can't get to you, mind you. Ha! <laughs> they didn't let, this chair is blocking this chest. Oh my god. <laughs> no, no, I don't need to go back to this room, I'm done with it. This is... This hurts. As, a, as an RPG Maker developer, this fucking hurts. This is everything wrong with RPG Maker development. In, in a summary. Also, I am going to honestly believe we're stuck here. Uh, let's save. Exit. New. Alright, back here now. Uh, so... Uh, oh no, I'm being asked questions. Something about the chef of the mafia? Okay. Something about ninja codes? Um, wow, alright. What, what am, this is so... Wait! Answer these questions at joesimulation.eu slash response, wait. Hold on. What the fuck? Right, um, here? I guess? It's just a page of text. What? I. Hmm. What happens if I go to the base link? If you go to the base link at joesimulation.eu, uh, you get something that says anti grav? <laughs> this is a really basically made website. Um, okay. Um, anyways, back to the game? Oh, it has click. Mm hmm Oh my god, how much text do you guys have? Here's the story! April... 20, 20, 28th of April, 2379, that's the year we're in, I guess. Wow, this is a... Could you at least, like, dim the screen? So that the background doesn't fucking blade into the text? Could you at least apply a 50% opacity black filter to the screen? So we can read the fucking text better? God fucking damn it, why is this so hard for you? Alright, oh, cause you don't care. That's the problem with these developers, they don't care. And good enough is their mantra. <laughs> also, holy shit! How- I- This is giving me the entire backstory of the game. I like that random period at the end. Wow, I'm not reading that ever again. Oh, okay. Wow, that's an amazing building. Let's go to that house. Sure. Oh no, I stepped the- So I, re I realize now what it is. There's a little, uh, there's a little warp portal. A step on and then get eternally stuck. So I guess never step on these? Yeah, I guess never step on these. Right then. They all seem to send you the same existence, so. What the? Wait, I'm sorry, no. What the fuck is that face on the right? <laughs> Okay, I'll we hold on. Whoa, you're not a robot. <laughs> Where the hell are you? Okay, why are they red? Why are they red tinted? The environment isn't red tinted. Why are they red tinted? That's a great. That is great. That is great framing for that character. I love it. Uh. How about you? Okay, hi. What the fuck are you from? What are these screenshots from? It doesn't seem like. It really doesn't seem like, uh. Well, related to the Game Guru stuff, exactly. I don't know. Maybe it does, but... There's, like, all sorts of weird shit going on, though. Also, it just occurred to me, guys. The, the You see those little uh, those gray bars on every tile? It just occurred to me... I think I know what's going on with that. I don't think that's intentional. I think... 
that they had a map tile that they wanted to be a certain way, but they faced it the wrong fucking direction, which led it to it being a different graphic. Oh, the Mafia's out here too, that's nice. What am I- what even is the goal of this mess, exactly? I see a lot of Eternity 500 brought up. I guess let's go to each quadrant. Why is there a- why is there broccoli next to you, sir? Is that alien broccoli? Will it kill us all? What does it go for any of these games to kill me? With confusion. Let's go to north. Actually, I think we were in north. Maybe. Probably. Yeah, yeah, I don't care. Get out of here. South, then. Okay. I want to see different people, but... Oh, this guy's giving me some sort of color code. Blue, red, violet, and, uh... Oh, what is one? That is, uh... I forget what that is. I want to say green. <laughs> this is a real-life skyscraper. <laughs> what? I just want to look at all the weird 3D pictures. And literally... 3D geometry breaking above somebody's head in one of these screenshots. Like, what the fuck is going on? Oh no, I did it again. <laughs> well, I think we've seen that oh, everything this game has to offer? I mean, I could. Let me try going to each. I don't think the whole south, whatever, whatever, does anything interesting. I think it's. No, it's literally. It's, I thought it was taking me to different maps. No, if, you, if you're like, oh, here's a station for you. You want to go to this, this, the west? Okay, let's move you to the west side of the screen. There you go. Like, bitch, I can literally walk there in one second or two. <laughs> what the fuck is the point? Oh my god. Oh, shit. So that was... What was this? Utopia, yeah. If this is what a utopia looks like, please. I want to live in a slum. <laughs> uh, wow. Well, that was certainly... A way to cap off Terra Incognita, I suppose. What a fucking mess this package was. It's the gift that keeps on giving with six different games, huh? Oh my god. We saw everything Terra Incognita has to offer, though, so... Yay! Yay? Yay.